foot in depth and foot in construction. Today we are going to discuss about factors affecting the foot in depth and the method of calculating foot in depth. Also we will be discuss it with the work example. Next we are going to discuss about the foot in construction procedures. I am Prasad from Structural Guide. You are welcome to the Structural Guide YouTube channel. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. What are the factors affecting on the foot in depth? Foundation shall be placed on the soil having required bearing capacity. So you have to examine the ground condition and it shall be make sure it reach the design specification. So design could have specified the depth of the excavation based on the geotechnical investigations. So we have to follow those and also we have to make sure this investigation data is correct. That is you have to check the actual ground condition with this specification and if there are any issues you have to discuss with the design team and you have to make sure you are, you are placing the foundation at correct level or at correct soil. Foundation shall be constructed on soil that that is not leading to excessive settlements. If foundation goes excessive settlement, there will be issue. Differential settlements, consolidation settlement may be there. In addition, if you have a weak soil like peat or other compressible soils, there may be excessive settlements. So those can be identified through the technical investigation. So if we have done it, that could have been incorporated in the design. With that, we have to proceed with the construction. Foundation shall not be constructed on a loose or disturbed soil. You can't construct the foundation on loose soil. Because if there are loose soil, when you apply the when the pressure is applied by the foot in, there may be a settlement. Also, if the soil is disturbed, when the pressure applied, it will settle by certain amount to when it certain by certain amount when it get compact. Therefore, we have to make sure the soil is in good condition when you constructing the footings. Ground water table could be avoided wherever possible. Ground water table is a burden to us when we when we place the footings. It affects the bearing capacity. It affects the construction. So therefore, we have to avoid that. If you found the water during the excavation, you have to do the dewatering and a lot of things has to be done when you construct the foundations. So it shall be free from the organic matters. You have to make sure the ground conditions are in good condition to place the foundations. If you have a roots of trees in the excavated area, you have to excavate beyond that level. If there are roots in underneath the footings, with the time these roots will be deteriorated. Once they are completely deteriorated, there will be cavities in the soil. So with that cavities, when you the pressure is applied there, there may be settlement in the foundation. Therefore, you have to be very careful when you doing determining the depth of the foundations. The most easiest and most uh, widely used method is the ranking method to find the depth of footing. So you can see here I have given the equation there d is equal p o gamma into 1 minus sin theta 1 plus sin theta over square. This is the ranking equation. So here the p is the pressure that is allowable bearing capacity or applied pressure. You can consider whichever is lesser because you want to find the minimum depth. We can use this equation to find the minimum depth. However, you may use the allowable bearing capacity in these calculations it will be conservative. Gamma is the density of soil and theta is the angle of repose of that particular soil. So all those things you can find then when you have those uh, parameters you can calculate the depth of the foot. In this example, say the allowable bearing capacity is 150 kN per meter square, density of soil is 18, angle of reverse of that particular soil is 30. 
degrees with that with that we when we substitute those uh, values to this equation we can calculate the depth as 0.926 for example in this uh, calculation so the depth of excavation when the pressure is about 150 kilonewtons per meter square would be around 900 millimeter or 3 feet so in general when you have a pressure like 150 kilonewtons per meter square you can place the foundation at the depth around 900 millimeter in normal construction one to about one to four storage or maybe sometimes five stories sometimes depending on the pressure applied or the depending on the column grid the pressure under the footing may be vary but about one to three one to four storage buildings you can you need to excavate about three feet that's why it's generally say you need to excavate about three feet during construction of low rise small scale buildings it's come from this equation footing reinforcements and footing construction procedures first you have to do the setting now then you do excavation so you have to do the excavation to the correct depth you can see here in this figure these roots have come came from the trees a lot of roots are there so you have to excavate beyond this level and also you have to make sure to remove those in the site before the construction before the construction of the, the ground floor and all that you better remove these roots because if you have a suspended slab there won't be much issues but if we have a floating slab that is rested on the ground with the deterioration of these there may be settlement in the ground floor slab then you once you excavated to the correct place you place the screen complete then you place the reinforcement net of the foot now in the reinforcement net you can see here the straight rebar there they have not bended depending on your apply load and the footing design you can determine whether you need to bend this bar upward or not here you have a straight bar but in some cases you have to bend this bar depending on this anchorage length and oh, this development is development can be fine this is this should be coming come from the design requirement should be specified by the design team so if design is specify you to bend it upward you have to bend the reinforcement upward that you have to follow for that you have to follow the design drawings once you place the footing reinforcement you may do the setting out to place the column again once you can mark the cross there then you can put the column reinforcement so you should bend this column reinforcement adequately at least this bend length should be 150 generally it's maintained around 150 millimeters so once you place the column again you might check the alignment of the column with this reference to this point you mark at there you may set out the column and also you have to make sure the setting of the column and you should be you should make sure the column is aligned or column is vertical then you have to you can't put the concrete just to this pit you have to fix the side form work if you pour the concrete you know this is a irregular shape then concrete will be filled there but there will be issues there may be durability issues and many more issues now irregular shape could lead to cracking this of this area due to this irregular nature and also absorption of the moisture or the water in the concrete through the soil will create cavities that also could create durability issues therefore you have to fix the side foam work around the reinforcement cage may by with by maintaining the adequate cow and also i want to mention uh, one thing here you can't just put the reinforcement net on the screed concrete you have to place the cover blocks on the screed concrete and then and only you can put the reinforcement cage of the footing that you have to remember when you do the 
putting construction it is very important otherwise the reinforcement cage may corrode due to the inadequate cover because the screed concrete cannot act as a, the structural concrete of the footing and also there may be debonding and there will be many issues thereafter you can pour the concrete into this pit once you do the setting now form work or once you finish you can do, do the concrete here you have seen the pit of the excavation so this is this have excavated up to the certain level then you have to put the reinforcement and do the concrete work i have created a short video you can see here then you tie the reinforcement like this then do the setting out only you can fix the formwork like this then you do the concrete and you do the pokering to compact the concrete adequately with that we end the today discussion let's meet again from new video thank you very much